Hi, my name is Bob Spurzum from EMC, and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about EMC Source One for Microsoft SharePoint. Microsoft SharePoint is an application you probably use in your organization. It's very popular as an enterprise content management solution. And I've shown it here very in a very abstract way because I want to show you some of the key problems, areas where we help improve the performance and control for SharePoint with EMC Source One. So to begin, I want to introduce the idea that Source One manages SharePoint in two, two areas, and they're almost completely independent. It's like two products in one. In the first area, we address the needs around active data. So let's look at that first. What do we mean? So here again, showing it very, in a very abstract way, SharePoint is storing multi multiple types of content. This content, as you know, is stored in a SQL database, part of the overall SharePoint farm, it's called. Okay. So as your content grows, as it will, and these are, these are Word docs, Excel spreadsheets, and so forth, the size of that database begins to grow. Now this impacts the overall performance of SharePoint, impacts its backup time, of course its subsequent recovery times. So managing data growth, particularly data in that SQL database, is a day-to-day -day constant responsibility of your SharePoint administrator. Okay, so back to active data. You've got files in this area being stored in SharePoint, and maybe it's beyond your design, uh, you know, the, the limit, the size that you've designed SharePoint for. And you wonder, well, how can I reduce that size while keeping the data transparently accessible? The end users may not even know that the data is not in this SharePoint content repository, the SQL database. It has been moved somewhere else, thereby relieving the storage size. Sounds like magic, doesn't it? Well, it's really not magic, and I'll draw some arrows here, and the credit goes to Microsoft for creating this remote blob storage API we refer to as RBS. So using this API that Microsoft has provided with SharePoint, we can pull out the content body, say the Word file, and leave behind, uh, well, it looks like it's still there. It can, the user can't tell. And actually, we uh, track the data here with some metadata and store that piece of content, say the Word doc, into the archive storage. So here, addressing the needs of active data and storage growth, Source One performs its first task, which is really just around storage management, by moving this content using the API RBS to another lower cost tier of storage. Okay, very simple. So that's part one of the source one job for Microsoft SharePoint. Now let's move to part two. In part two, we're looking at the needs around inactive data, particularly for the benefits of retention, access, legal and compliance. Okay, that's a whole lot. Let's, let's break it down and show you what that means. Let me first take out our first task around active storage and let's show what inactive data management is. Again, back to SharePoint, the SQL database where the content is stored. We're looking at data growth, but here we're looking at growth that's being caused by old data. How about Word files, Excel files, Adobe files that have been stored there for years, not, not being accessed, and using up precious space, primary storage space on SharePoint? Well, your first choice might be just to delete these files, and that's always a good choice, but maybe that's not available to you. You've got organization policies telling you have to keep all content, say, for seven years. I don't know, but your organization may have requirements where you just can't simply remove this old, inactive content. So how do we solve this problem? Here, Source One can come in to the, your content area, the SQL database, and re extract move the data, again, the file types, I'm using examples, Word, Excel, Adobe. This content can be moved out, just we read it out of the SQL database and move it into the Source One archive. We track the, the content metadata in our SQL database here and we put the physical content into our archive storage. 
this does some important benefits for us. First of all, obviously, the storage management benefits by moving the old data out of SharePoint. The data now has been moved. It's here in Source 1. We can manage it for retention. My earlier example of seven-year retention, that can be accomplished over here with Source 1. Access. We have, a, we have our own uh, SharePoint uh, page inside of SharePoint with a, with a search interface. So you don't have to leave SharePoint. You flip into that tool and you can do a full text search and access those documents that are now in Source 1. They've been moved from SharePoint. Got it? Okay. That's access. And then finally for legal and compliance, here we can, we mentioned retention. We can also store this information on archive storage specific for compliance such as EMC Centera. So there's many steps we can do to ensure that the data remains uh, accessible, maybe for legal discovery, and meets your requirements, say, for industry compliance rules. So in conclusion, today we've talked about EMC Source 1 from Microsoft SharePoint. We talked about Source 1 in terms of the two key functions that it performs in support of storage management for Microsoft SharePoint. The first being active data, how we can reduce your primary storage while keeping data accessible using the RBS API from Microsoft. Secondly, we talked about how we can support inactive data. Data that's not being accessed can be moved to Source 1 where it remains accessible. We can maintain control through retention and also keep it in compliance with your industry rules. I urge you to go to our website at www.emc.com and here you can learn much more about EMC Source 1. Thank you very much.